In my last video, I talked about why I get up every day and I went on about how fervently I pursue my dreams and how rabid I am about making the most of life. But in this video, I want to get real because it's important for you to understand that even with that much passion and clarity, I still struggle with finding focus, motivation. I struggle with doubt, sometimes with self-worth, confidence, and sometimes I don't even know what I want. So I know that I went on with so much passion and drive that it was almost ridiculous and cheesy. I know that. But the reason why I did it is because I used to hold myself back. I was embarrassed by my own passionate nature. And I felt like my ambition and my unwillingness to settle actually ended up alienating me. So I felt misunderstood and sometimes I even felt like I lived in an alien world. So what did I do? I dumbed myself down. I held myself back and I thought small because I wanted to avoid being alone. So, you know, I had these big dreams. I was very idealistic about the world, but the world around me showed no evidence that what I wanted was possible. And so I stopped believing in my own dreams. And I did what most people do. I lowered my expectations in order to avoid disappointment by other people, by myself, or by the world around me. So through the journey of my transformation, which I'll get into at some other point, I ended up coming to this place of personal empowerment and faith in my own competency and faith that there are infinite possibilities in life and that you can live a fulfilling, expansive life. But sometimes, even knowing that, I still feel like life is epically pointless. Sometimes I actually envy my former ignorance because if I didn't understand human potential, then I wouldn't be so compulsive about seeking it and I would be satisfied with less. But that's not the case because I tried to submit to living life in that box and I failed miserably. I couldn't handle the corporate world. It took me eight years to get a four-year degree because I just, I would look at the list of all of the different options of majors and say, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. I just, it just couldn't, I couldn't make it work. Because the American dream that I'd been sold made me gag. And again, I'm gonna go on more about that at another point. But I just, I sucked at the traditional life. But at the same time, I was terrified of going rogue. So I resisted change, but my inquisitive and tenacious nature made it impossible not to change. And I ended up abandoning my own sinking ship and I cliff dove into a life of authenticity. So I went from fearing change like everybody else to thriving off of it. Now I actually talk about myself as a super grower. Like I evolve so quickly that sometimes I don't even know who I was two weeks ago. And this is really interesting because who I was before and who I am now are so dramatically different. I went from being somebody who was shy, even though most people that were around me didn't realize that's how I felt, but I was obsessed with approval. I was so terrified of putting myself out there that I was actually afraid at one point of calling and ordering pizza because I just couldn't stand the idea that some other person on the other end of the phone would be judging me. And today I'm confident and I'm bold. And you know, my younger self was extremely emotionally susceptible to the feelings and the drama of everybody around me and the ills of the world. When I think about it, it would crack me open inside. But today I have emotional control and I can remain grounded even in the most difficult situations. I used to be mortified of the spotlight. Um, I hated speaking in front of people. You know, in school, the worst thing in the world was being called to have to write something on the board. But today, I'm a professional speaker and I'm a teacher, and not only am I doing that, but while I'm doing it, I'm sharing my deepest passions, which I used to be terrified of. So, in my videos, my goal is to share more of my inner journey of how I transformed my worldview and my beliefs and the decisions that I made and opened my mind to the possibility that maybe all of those limitations that I thought existed within myself and within life were wrong. So if you also struggle with confidence and your self-worth sometimes, but at the same time, you know you're not living your potential and that kind of scares you, but it's a little more scary to actually look at what it would mean to live differently, then I understand 
I understand what it's like to not believe that you can have what you want, but part of you just can't let it go. Because I struggled my whole life with that dichotomy of on one hand, I have my soul calling me to live on the leading edge. And then the other hand, I have my monkey brain that feels like its job on this earth is to protect me from uncertainty and failure and tries to get me to play it safe. And so I have learned how to gag the monkey. And I do it either by tuning it out and sometimes I have to stuff a banana in its mouth. Um, but I invite you to join me as I go into how I silenced this persistent primate and I took back control of my own destiny. So I hope that gives a little bit more background as to where this excited, passionate video that I posted about how I feel about life and about the world came from and that it's not all pie in the sky, that there's been a journey that's gotten me there. And so I'm excited to be able to share this with you and that you've taken the time to be here with me.